This was another game I got requested to play through Curator Connect, so me being the nice helpful person I am, thought I'd give it a go. It's a pretty simplistic game with blocky textures and environments. Not much explanation is given to the workings of the game, but it's not too hard to figure out luckily. It's a deathmatch style game with a couple of different modes and the option to quick play. You make a game and play with bots mostly, but other players can join your game. In quick play it's just a fight to the death, the same goes for team deathmatch mode which is a race to 25 kills. There's an RPG mode as well, though I can't decide if that stands for roleplay game or rocket powered grenade since you can use an RPG as your main weapon and the game is actually just TDM but you have to get to 44 kills instead of 25. You have a choice of 5 weapons, the first slot swapping between an automatic weapon or an RPG depending on what mode you're on and the others being the same each time, and you've just got to kill people with them. The sniper isn't quite as strong as it could be for headshotting, but then again I suppose with heads that big it's only fair. There are variations in maps and player models, though not too many without using credit to buy more. When other players do join you sometimes lose track of them for all the bots, so it still doesn't feel like anyone's playing with you sometimes, but on a busier server you'd probably be fine. The maps are colourful and the sound effects are good. It could be quite addictive, but also could get a little stagnant after a while since from what I can tell there's not a massive player base to keep things interesting and gameplay variations are barely varied. But more players could help fix that problem a little bit. Uh, there's not much more to add about this to be fair. It's good, basically a deathmatch game with simple graphics, decent sounds, colourful maps and potential to play with others online. It functions perfectly well and looks good but doesn't have masses of long term play potential, so I'm gonna give pixelforces.io a 7 out of 10.